What's up YouTube, PP Dangler here. Uh, I got another video here for you. This is gonna be a cool one. Um, as you can tell, I got a new bike. Uh, this is a mountain bike. I sold my own mountain bike. I had a, a GT Aggressor for about nine years. It was a small 16 inch, uh, beat up, wore out. So I was at Dick's, I saw this on sale. It was for 350, it's regular 599. This is a GT Aggressor Pro. Uh, 27 and a half inch. Uh, it's a 19 inch frame, which I think is a size large, uh, and it's in gunmetal. So um, it's going to be cool. We're going to put it together. I'm going to show you what's in the box. You know how it's packaged. Uh, I ordered it uh, from the Dick's website, and it got here in two days. It was fast. Um, you know, it's not assembled. It's partially assembled, so you got to do some things to it. Um, but it tells you, you know, what kind of tools you need, flathead, phillips head, a couple of wrenches, and a couple of Allen wrenches. So, not too much. You should have all that. We'll open up the box here. Um, the box looks like it got beat up a little bit. There's a couple holes on this side, but should be okay, hopefully. Um, so, I'll get it opened up. I'll show you what's inside, and then uh, we're going to build this thing. So, stay tuned. Um... This is kind of one of the first bike videos I got on my page. Um, so after I get it together and everything, I'll do a review. And uh, I got a GoPro, do some rides and stuff. So we'll do that. Um, if you're not, if you're new to my channel, you know, hit that subscribe button, you know, to check that out. There's not many reviews uh, on the GT Pro Performer. Um, maybe it's not that popular of a bike, but you know, there's a couple reviews on there. Looked like they were filmed with a potato and by there's that dog and by an eight-year-old. So. You know, this is going to be a little bit maybe more in-depth. I'll, I'll show you how to put it together. And, um, you know, that's it. So stay tuned. Hit subscribe. And uh, enjoy. All right. Later. All right. So the first thing we're doing here is just removing these staples. You don't want to be pulling your bike out of here and scratching it. So just get a flathead. You know, kind of doing this with one hand. So get under there and uh, just pry them out. Be careful, don't cut yourself. Um, they're pretty stiff, but nothing crazy. Get under there and just pop it out. Um, like I said, you don't want to scratch your bike, dude. Brand new. All right. All right. So that's it. We got our staples. About five or six of them. Maybe that's what you need the flathead for. Alright, so there it goes. Oh, there's another staple. Get that out of there. Okay. Do not lay flat. Whatever. Alright, and here it is. I love this color. It also comes in like a neon green and a neon blue. Yeah, that was kind of flashy for me, so I went with this gunmetal here. It's kind of a flat black. It's got some yellow, green, blue accents. Um, your seat posts, you know, quick release seat posts. That's cool. Um, so the back wheel's obviously already on. Uh, back wheel and your derailleur and all that. The air's got the tires got some air in them too. Probably not enough, but. Um, so it looks like we got to put the front wheel on, the handlebars on. I mean, the cables all, are all ran and everything, so that's good. Uh, what's this, a parts bag? Uh, let's see if I can uh, pull this out of here with one hand. Yeah. It's uh, not too heavy either. Alright, don't fall over on me. Alright, so that's it. Out of the box, as it comes. Check it out. Uh, it's a 21 speed. So it's got seven back there, three up front. Um, looks good, even though the box had a couple holes in it. I mean, it's packaged good. I mean, you know, all foamed up. Here's your seat, which looks like it's coming out here. So I'll just take that. Um, your front fork. Uh, here's some type of line. I'm not sure what that is. It must be for the brakes. Yeah, must be for the brakes. I'm thinking. Uh, anything else in the box? Oh, yeah. 
There's the sheath for that cable. So that came off. No big deal. That should slide back on. Here's a, a parts box. We'll open that up and see what's in there. And um, that's it. There's a, another connector that probably went over here for the disc brakes. Yeah, it's got disc brakes front and rear. Uh, it's a hardtail, no rear suspension, but I, uh, I'm not that aggressive of a rider, so I'm not doing anything crazy. It's got a front shock. That'll be good enough. That's all my other bike had was a front shock. So uh, I'm just going to start cutting off, uh, taking off some of this protective stuff here. Uh, I just got a pair of, you know, some snips. So we'll get that front wheel off. Probably wouldn't use a knife because you don't want to risk damaging your paint. Alright, so we got that. Here's another one right here. GT stem. Cool, cool, cool. Um, this is just a rubber band. Alright, so we'll cut off the front wheel. in there. Alright, so that should free up the wheel. Oh no, it's hot. Hold on, i got one more down here. Get this box out of the way. I don't want to cut the tire. Alright, there we go. And it's still held on by a rubber band down there. Alright, well let me set this phone down. I'll get the pieces all together then and uh, then I'll show it to you. Alright guys? All right, guys, so that's pretty much it here. I got it unboxed, and I got most of the protective stuff uh, taken off. I left some on the top tube, the down tube, and the chain stays, you know, just to protect the paint while I'm putting it together. Um, but most of it comes assembled. Uh, I put the seat in there. That was just a quick release. I just put that in there. It's not adjusted or anything yet. Uh, like I said, the back tire is on. So it looks like we just got to run. Well, we got to switch. We got to move the neck around. The neck came on backwards. We'll, we'll swing that around. We'll mount the handlebars. And then we will mount the brake cable to the front brake caliper down there. Um, and then we'll start putting the rest together here. Uh, it comes with a couple parts here. Uh, looks like a, a reflector. Uh, here's your pedals. Um, they feel plastic. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, here's your skewer, your quick release uh, for your front axle. And then just a bunch of probably, yeah, how to adjust and, um, yeah, adjust your front derailleur, your rear derailleur, your rear mech. Uh, yeah, there's one for the rear, completely separate. Um, shifting. And uh, then this is going to be, uh, what is this going to be? Uh, your owner's manual. It looks like it goes to a couple different bikes. Uh, there's a tool list. How to take the bike apart. And, well, that's in Japanese or something. Um, then here's an actual nice color. Real thick GT manual. That I'll definitely hold on to. That's nice. Uh, and that's it. So, uh, I got my Allen keys here. I gotta get a couple wrenches, probably gonna need the, a pedal wrench. And um, we'll start to put this together here. I'm gonna start with the neck. Uh, it's gonna be kinda hard with one hand, but um, I'll get going on that. I'll swing that neck around and then I'll pick up from there. All right, so we got our neck switched around. That was easy. Uh, that is a four mil on these neck bolts here. And then your stem bolt's gonna be a five. So loosen these up, then loosen this up, turn it around, then tighten this, and then tighten these. Don't try to, to move it without untightening them, so. And I'm just going to cinch them down here, somewhat even. Go through and do the final adjustments after. Whoops. Oh. Okay, cool. So, uh, next we'll take these off. All four. We'll 
we'll leave that one on. And then, uh, well, I gotta get the wrapper off of that, and then we'll mount the handlebars. Alright, I was gonna try to do that one handed, but uh, it's pretty near impossible. Um, so I just got it started here. You know, try to center it the best you can uh, until you can get it over the bike and everything, you know, to make some final adjustments. You know, I was going to put some grease on these, but they already came pre-greased, um, you know, to prevent seizures or whatever. So just try to center up the best you can. And then, um, you know, I like, uh, you know, I like these at about a 45 degree angle, you know, so you can get right down on it, uh, get some, you know, good braking power. So I just angle them down and then, um, you know, tight them, tighten these in a, a crisscross pattern here. Um, doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, you're just assembling it. You can always go back through and make adjustments. Um, you know, but so far, you know, pretty easy. And when you put on, make sure your cables are over the stem. Obviously, um, you know, I had to kind of work it through there because all these are pre-attached, so no big deal. And then we can go back through. We can zip tie these some of the, you know these cables later, clean it up, you know, dress it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of these bars, but we'll see. Uh, We'll see how it rides. So I'm just going to go fin uh, go through, finish tightening up these. And then I think maybe we will, I don't know, I think maybe we'll put this, uh, install this brake cable next into the, uh, into the caliper. All right, so uh, I'll be back. All right, so I lied. Uh, the next thing we're going to do here, I guess, is just install the pedals. Because uh, I'll probably flip the bike upside down at some point here. Um, but while I got this right here, we'll just throw these on. Uh, they are plastic pedals, so this might be, you know, something you want to upgrade in the near future. I mean, they're they're GT, I guess. Um, they have reflectors, but they're plastic, so you get what you get. 350 bucks. Um, you know, they're labeled right, you know, even the crank is labeled uh, right. So uh, you're going to put it on. Uh, this is going to be a right-hand thread. Uh, right is right, and left-hand side is a left-hand thread. Um, I'm going to... Put a little bit of grease on here, though, um, just so the threads, you know, don't seize. Again, this is impossible with one hand, but uh, yeah, it's not a rocket science. I think I said that. Um, a little bit of grease, maybe that's too much. Dab some off. Uh, yeah, you don't need a lot, and um, you know, thread it into the hole and get it started and the pedal's gonna drop okay and then uh, you know actually we will flip the bike upside down and um, we'll let the crank do the work uh, to get that on I just wanted to show you how to do it um, oh, it looks like there's some type of red tab down here too if I can focus on that alright that's your alignment so I'll keep that on there so when I do align the derailleur, I'll know what I'm doing because there is some spacing issues here I can already tell. Uh, and I think this is going to be your high adjuster, this is going to be your low adjuster. Um, Alright, cool. Triple triangle design. Yeah, GT's famous for that. Oh man, sharp looking bike. These tires look gnarly. Um, it does have Presta valves. If you're not familiar with them, you know, check them out. The shock looks awesome. The Suntour XCT. Not a rock shock, unfortunately, but. Alright, so we'll get this flipped over. Oh, we got. What do we got left to do? We got to do the pedals. Got to put the other pedal on. Got to do the brake line to the caliper and put on the front wheel. Um, yeah, it's really not hard. This is my first time assembling a bike from a box. I build BMX bikes, so I kind of, I mean, I got the tools and, you know, I, I can kind of figure it out. Like I said, uh, dog, it's not rocket science, but, um, I honestly haven't even looked at the instructions yet. I probably will when I go to do the derailers, um, you know, the, the rear mech, make sure I get that tuned up right. Other than that, I mean, if you've ridden a bike, it shouldn't be too hard. Um, thing's awesome. 350 bucks a dick, so we'll get the rest of this uh, assembled here and I'll be right back with you. Say hi to that dog. Dog, beat it. Alright, so we got the bike upside down and yeah, when you put on these pedals, you know, let the crank do the work. You know, get in there with your wrench. 
but then, um, you know, just spin it around. And I, that's it. She's tight. I'll do the other side here. I'm like, I gotta take off this covering. Uh, everything, I was pretty happy with uh, the way it was shipped. Um, you know, everything was protected. Nice. Um, you know, you want to see that. I um, mean, I expect that, you know, with any bike, really, especially with GT. You guys have been in the business for long enough. You know, you know what's going on. I'll give you a look there at the inside. Uh, the chain's, you know, not on. I don't know if that came off during shipping or not. I'm surprised because it's right on the frame. Of course, as soon as I, uh, <laughs> as soon as I give them a compliment on something, then I find something. So hopefully that hasn't rubbed uh, the paint raw down there. We'll check that out. I figured they'd at least put it on the highest, you know, the highest gear here, the lowest little sprocket. But whatever. We're gonna get this other pedal installed, and then we'll move to the front wheel. I have extra set of hands. <laughs> Uh, get yourself a cameraman. Alright, we'll get that started here. And we will try that again. Again, just let uh, the crank do the work. And that's it. You know, get tight and then uh, just give it a one more quarter turn. And that's it. Alright, so we're gonna, now we're going to start with the, uh, the front brake and the front wheel. And uh, it's pretty much done. I'll show you how the skewer works, the quick release for the... You know, the front axle, that's it. Alright, so real, real quick here, we're going to run this brake line. Um, it, it wasn't through here, I had to push it through there. There's a, a Phillips head screw, put it through, clamp it down. Um, you know, and then what we're going to do is we're going to run it around. It's going to go up through here, and then into your... Right here. And we're going to clamp it down. This is a hex, a 6mm. Um, so, very simple, it's just running a brake line. Uh, around the fork, up here, through here, clamp it down, and we can make our adjustments later. Um, so I'll do that right now. Alright, so I did that, and uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, I just came right through here, your barrel adjuster, right here to the tie down. And they give you lots of line to work with, um, so don't worry about that. I'm not going to clamp it down completely tight yet. Again, I want to get everything assembled. Uh, I'll do my brake adjustments, and then the last thing I'll do is cut that line. Uh, I just want to show you what that looks like. Um, so next I think we will put on the wheel and that's the last part. Um, so we got to do the skewer. Uh, we'll put some grease on the skewer. Um, let me take this off. And that's just a piece of plastic. That's nothing. Um, I think that's going to be it. Alright, so we'll do the skewer. Uh, oh, another thing I wanted to mention was... Um, and you got these clips on here that, that route your cables. Uh, don't forget about them. They're all over the bike. Uh, they're plastic C-clips. They're probably going to break. You got them down here, too. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go through and just replace them with some yellow zip ties that I got. I had these laying around, and, you know, they kind of, well, not really. A little bit. They kind of match the accents on the bike. Um, they just come off. You know, you can probably get one off by hand. Yeah, they're just plastic c-clips that are gonna break um that's it um and then we can run a zip tie through there and then that ain't going anywhere so you got them here here uh here you know i'm on the rear chain stays here here um the rear brake line here 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 so there's a lot of them um they're gonna break so if you can replace them uh save yourself some time now uh, so we're going to get the skewer on, and then we're going to adjust the brakes, and I think that's just going to be about it. Um, honestly, this hasn't, let me get that in focus, there you go. Uh, this hasn't taken me that long. Um, you know, the longest part is just filming and talking. I could probably legit have this bike together, um, you know, five minutes to grab some tools, a um, couple minutes to unpack it. I could have this done in 20 minutes. You know, this video might end up being 20 minutes, maybe a little bit more, so we'll see. Um, and then you gotta tune it, you know, dial in your brakes, uh, we gotta adjust the front derailleur, adjust the rear derailleur, pump it up with tires, um, and I think that's it. Um, and then we're gonna do some riding. So stay tuned, um, and uh, I'm gonna get this front wheel on, alright. 
All right, so we got the front wheel on here. Uh, I just set it in there. I didn't put the skewer through or anything. Uh, just be careful when you're lining up your brakes. You know, make sure the pads are separated when you put that, you know, when you put that rotor in. Try not to touch your rotor. You don't want any oil from your hands or anything on it, um, or it's going to affect your brakes. You might think it won't, but it will. So watch that. Um, you can give it a little spin. Yeah, just give your wheel a little spin here. Make sure that, um, you know, you're gonna, it's fine to hear the brake pad rubbing. We'll adjust all that later. Um, we're going to put some grease on the skewer here. Uh, and then this is actually going to go in from this side. It's always going to go in from your left-hand side. Um, I don't know why that is, but um, that's what they tell you on the forums. And I trust them guys because they're professionals and I'm not. So grease, skewer, clamp it down. Um, and then, then I'm going to go through and change the C-clips. Get this plastic off of here, um, and then maybe do some brake adjustments, and uh, we'll check out the bike. So stick around. All right, so we got our skewer here, and I put a thin layer of grease on there. We're gonna put that through, and then don't forget, I got it here. Your spring, very important not to forget that spring that goes on the end of the shaft. And the skinny end, get that in there. Now there's a skinny end and the fat end. The fat end's gonna go out, the skinny end's gonna go in. So, I'll never be able to do this with two hands probably. Um, maybe you can see that, maybe you can't. Um, just gonna screw that onto the end and tighten it up. A little bit more. I'm nope, still not there yet. Oh yeah. Okay. Now that's good. And clamp that down. And that's it for your skewer. And we'll align them brakes here in maybe right now. What you're going to do to do that, uh, there's two bolts here on your caliper. One here, and another one right here. You're going to loosen them up. And then we're going to clamp down on the brake cable. And then we're going to retighten it back up. So I probably can't do that um, with one hand. So, loosen this, loosen this, clamp down the brake lever, hold the brake lever, tighten it back up, release the brake lever. And that will align your brake pads and caliper with your brake rotor. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Alright guys, so we got the uh, front brake rotor done here. Uh, it's centered. I still have to take some slack out of the cable cut the cable um, but right now I'm just gonna run these wire first before I start taking slack out of the things and cutting things so again these clips uh, are junk you can get right in there with a screwdriver allen key and pop them all out I can take this off now I think maybe <laughs> um, everything goes right in the box it's all junk um, you know, same thing here. I'm gonna go through uh, and zip tie all, all of them. Take them off and zip tie. Them. Same thing down here, um, and that's it. So I'll be back when that's done. All right. So uh, I got the bottom tube done for the rear brake. Uh, I'm sorry, not for the rear brake. For the rear derailleur um, and the front derailleur. Uh, so that's what they look like. Uh, they're gonna be a lot stronger than them plastic clips. Um, and their zip ties, you know, you can throw a couple in your pack if you need, if one does happen to break or if you need to do some adjustments. But other than that, it should be fine. Um, and I did a three back here, uh, and I ran out, so I gotta go out to the garage and get some more. But I just wanted to show what that looked like. Honestly, we're, we're pretty much close to done now. Um, I'm not sure what else I'm gonna show you. Um, but it's easy to set up these bikes um, and put them, put them together. You need some basic tools, um, you know, a four... Uh, millimeter allen key, a six millimeter allen key, um, 
and then some maybe a Phillips head screwdriver to adjust um, you know your high and lows once you get it fine tuned in but putting it together uh, is easy you know use some grease on your pedals use some grease on your skewer um, align the brakes up the brakes up like I told you you know you just like I said undo let me get over here undo this bolt and this bolt spin the wheel clamp down on your brakes uh, it'll lock the caliper you have to hold the caliper in place while you do that and then tighten it down um, and then do it again uh, and do it and do it until you know it's centered um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I still got to, um, you know, make sure the derailleur is working and everything um, on the rear. Uh, but I guess that's pretty much it. Um, maybe I'll finish taking the plastic off um, and uh, I'll show the bike, you know, on two wheels for the first time, I guess. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, so let me do that quick and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys. Uh, so I think that's going to be the end of the video, actually. Um, you know, I, I put it together. I told you about it. I mean, there's not much more I could really show you, you know, with one hand. I got to adjust the derailers, you know, and the brakes. I just really wanted to kind of show you the bike, show you how it came, you know, when you got it, and what you had to put together. And really, um, it's simple. Um, everything, you know, it's partially assembled. Uh, all the hard stuff's done on the back. Your mech, you know, your derailers, all that stuff's mounted. The brakes are mounted. The only thing you're doing is putting the pedals on, um, the front wheel on, you're uh, screwing the handlebars on, and putting the seat posts in, and clamping the stuff down. Um, that's it. So don't be intimidated. Um, again, this is on sale at Dix. It's the GT Aggressor Pro. It's a 2017 model. Uh, 27 and a half inch tires. Um, it does have plastic pedals, which is kind of a bummer, but um, you, know, you can always upgrade those or take them off your old bike. Um, you know, it's a hardtail, it's got a front suspension, disc brakes. Um, this is the, uh, the large size. All right, there, down there, it'll say. Uh, if I can focus. I guess it doesn't want to focus, but you can see the L right there. Uh, large frame size, there you go. And, um, online it said the 19 inch model. Uh, again, the bike before I had was a 16, so I'm going up three inches. Uh, this bike comes in small, medium, large. It's 15, 17, 19, and 21 inches. So, you know, 17 was only an inch bigger than what I had, and I knew that was small. So I wanted to get, you know, I wanted to get a man's bike. So I got the 19. 21 probably would have been too big. I'm 5 foot 10 inches, um, you know, and I can sit over the crossbar, and I have, you know, I have a couple inches down here, and then, you know, up here. I mean, it's pretty aggressive, you know, it goes up. So, you know, don't bang your nuts on that. Um, nice tires, uh, nice frame. It's not heavy. Uh, you know, I haven't really tried out the saddle yet. It looks like it's going to be fine. Um, shifter's fine, brakes fine. Um, not bad for 350 bucks. Um, you know, I'll do some more videos on it. This was just a quick, you know, review and throw together. Cause like I said, there wasn't a lot of stuff out there. Um, you know, I ordered it from Dix. It came in two days. Um, and I put it together in about 20, 25 minutes maybe. Not long at all, so uh, that's it, uh, I guess, for the video. I'll be doing more reviews, you know, once I ride it more, um, and I'll get some action footage of me actually riding it with my GoPro. I'll mount that on there somewhere. Uh, but thanks for sticking around. I know it's been a, a long video, um, but, you know, there's not a lot of videos about this bike, so that's why I made it. Um, I want to make it with some detail. So if you have any questions uh, about the bike or about putting it together or anything else, um, I'll be happy to answer them. You know, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I appreciate, you know, um, you doing that. Uh, it helps me out. That's why I make these videos, um, you know, for people to watch them. So if nobody's watching them, I'm not going to make them. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. You know, have a good uh, Memorial Day weekend. Um, stay safe. Um, you know, do some riding. I know I'm going to. Um, I'm going to tear this thing up. So... Uh, that's it guys. Uh, so long and I'll see you next time. Later.